I often get asked for easy slow cooker recipes that have a great flavor, and boy, do I have a great one for you today. I'm Christina with It Is A Keeper. I share tried and true recipes that anyone can make. I believe if you can read, you can cook. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm showing you how to make garlic crock pot pork tenderloin. The slow cooked pork becomes super tender and the sauce, well, that's the best part. Now, be sure to grab the full principal recipe in the video description below. So the first thing we need to do for our slow cooker pork tenderloin is we need to get our pork seasoned. So here I just have um, a regular plain old pork tenderloin. Sometimes these come two to a pack and it depends on your family size. I usually make the two at once, but if you have a smaller family, just throw one in the freezer and save it for next time. So this one came in a single pack, so we're good. I'm just going to season it pretty liberally with my all-purpose seasoning. Get one side and we'll flip it. Get the other side. A lot of people skip the seasoning step and I find that this is where you get the best flavor from your recipes. Seasoning it right at the beginning ensures that all of that salt and everything is going to work its way into the meat and help tenderize it and flavor it and just really enhance that natural flavor. Okay, so now we have to get our pork into our slow cooker. Okay, so we have our slow cooker here. We're going to put the tenderloin in there. I like to put it fat side down into the crock. Then we're going to begin building our sauce. So the first thing we have is soy sauce and I like to use the low sodium soy sauce. I find that we don't really need all that extra sodium in there. It still adds that great umami flavor that we're looking for. Then I'm going to add some chicken stock or broth, stock or broth, whichever you have is fine. And for a little bit of sweetness, we're going to add in some brown sugar. And let me just give that a little stir around. Okay, now we're really going to start adding some flavor. We're gonna add some garlic. So I'm putting a couple cloves of garlic into this garlic press. This is my favorite garlic press. I love this and believe me, I have tried them all. And I'll show you why it's so awesome in a moment. So we get all that garlic out of there. It makes it so super easy when you use a press, right? Your fingers don't smell. You get all that great fresh garlic flavor. But here's why I love this one. So if you've ever used a garlic press, you know you have to pick out that garlic peel. This has a tray that lifts right out, making it so super easy to get that garlic peel out of there. This is game changer. Okay, one more. These are big cloves, man, they're meaty. All right, in you go. Alrighty, so we have garlic, we have our flavor. We're going to add a little bit of crushed red pepper just for a little bit of heat. If you don't want the heat, you can easily leave it out. That's not a problem at all. And that's all we need. We don't need to add any more salt or pepper to this because the soy sauce is adding enough sodium. We're going to put the lid on this and cook it on low for about seven hours or high on three to four hours or until the internal temperature of the pork is 145 degrees. Okay, so our pork has finished cooking in the slow cooker. I've taken it out and this is what it looks like on the platter. So it's all cooked, you can see how the, the, the soy sauce has gotten in there and made our pork nice and golden and it's just chilling and ready to go here. We're gonna work on the sauce for a moment though. So I took everything, all the juices that were in the slow cooker and poured them into the saucepan. We need to thicken it up because they are quite, it's quite thin right now. So this isn't much of a sauce, it's more like a jus. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of cornstarch to some water and we're going to make a slurry. And this is what's going to thicken up this sauce. So I'm just whisking it until it's completely combined. And then we'll pour it into the warm sauce. It's gonna lighten it up a bit, don't be worried about that, that's perfectly fine. And we're going to whisk that in. 
We're going to bring this to a simmer to where it starts bubbling and you'll notice how the sauce starts to thicken up. And then we'll get that flavorful sauce that we're looking for. Okay, so this is thickening up nicely. You see how we have the bubbles coming in there? And you just wanna cook it until it gets to the desired thickness that you want. And I think this is perfect. So I'm going to turn the heat down and we are going to serve this up. So here's how I like to serve this up. I'm going to take a knife and just slice the pork into nice slices. It's done perfectly. All right, this is looking good. So I'm just going to fan these out a bit. Oh, you guys, amazing. Okay, time for some sauce. And I, the reason I like to cut it first, let me back this up, is because the sauce then gets on all the pieces. So I'm going to take a nice, healthy spoonful of the sauce and just drizzle it right on top. I mean, does it get better than this? And then I'll serve the extra sauce on the side for anybody that wants it. All right, and just for a little bit of color, sprinkling of parsley. I wish you could smell this and fall apart tender. Now, I love to serve this with mashed potatoes or even risotto, anything that will soak up all of this amazing sauce. Now, I can't wait to dig in, so I'm going in right here. Oop, extra sauce, of course. Mmm. Mmm. It's just falling apart in my mouth. Took too big of a bite. <laughs> chew, chew, chew. Mmm. This garlic crock pot pork tenderloin is definitely a keeper. You won't believe how easy this is to make. There are so many great slow cooker recipes out there. I have an incredible slow cooker recipe I think you're going to love, Mississippi Pot Roast. You don't wanna miss it, you can check it out here. I'll see you over there.